Matt Murphy here with Jason Boney. We want to talk about something everybody wants to do. Multi-segmented grid lines. Tell me about it. That's right, Matt. So I know that in the past, I've gotten some of my projects into a mess with the grid lines. Now with the multi-segmented grid line options, I can actually sketch my grid lines to be more like I want them to. I'll show you. Sometimes we need to create grids that are a little more complex than just a straight line. When this is the case, use multi-segment grid lines. First, let's look at creating a straight grid line. On the Architecture ribbon, in the Datum panel, click the Grid tool. In the Draw panel, you can see various tools that you can use to create grids. The default selection is Line. Moving to the drawing area, I can select a starting point, and then an ending point, and the grid will be created. Now select the multi-segment button in the draw panel on the contextual ribbon. We are now in edit sketch mode, and the modify edit sketch contextual ribbon appears with multiple draw tools. You can now create a grid line with any series of straight and arc segments since multi-segment grid lines are sketched. In the options bar, Notice that chain is selected by default because all the lines need to be connecting, but cannot form a closed loop. I will draw three lines, changing direction by 90 degrees each time. Simply click to enter the line's starting point, and click again to enter the end point. As long as chain is checked in the options bar, the ending point of one line will be the starting point of the next. Press escape to cancel the chain. Then select Start End Radius Arc in the draw panel. To create the arc, I will select the end of the last line created for the start point. The next point selected is the end of the arc. And finally, the third click will define the radius. Press Escape twice to cancel the drawing command. Once the sketch is complete, select the green check button in the mode panel, which is the Finish Edit Mode button. The grid line is now created. With the grid still selected, notice in the Properties palette that we can change the type in the Type Selector or Grid ID by changing the name. I can also select Edit Type and change the type properties just as with a normal grid line. The multi-segment grid can also be copied or moved like a regular grid. If the grid needs to be edited, we can simply select Edit Sketch in the Contextual ribbon and we'll enter into Edit Sketch mode. Select the arc and modify the radius. Then select the Finish Edit Mode button to complete the sketch again, and we have a custom grid line. 